A brilliant undefeated fourth wicket partnership of 216 runs between Tom Westley and Jesse Ryder has given Essex a real chance of saving and possibly even winning the LV County Championship game in Northampton. The home team set off on the penultimate morning on 397 for six in their first innings, 121 runs ahead. And Richard Levy, resuming his innings on a career-best 157, soon earned his side maximum batting bonus points. But Essex began the day well, as Stephen Crook was out to the ninth ball of the morning after adding just one run to his overnight 38, top-edging a hook off Graham Napier to Ryan Tender Scarter in the deep. Levy's masterclass of an innings was finally ended on 168 when he got in a bit of a muddle to a short ball from Napier to offer James Foster a simple catch with a score on 424 for 8 and the lead at 148. Then Rory Kleinfeld followed in the next over, held at deep point again by Tender Scarter off Reese Topley for 14. The innings was concluded in the first hour of the day when last man Ollie Stone was another to fall to a shot of aggression Napier with his third wicket of the morning as Northamptonshire were all out for 444. They would have been happy with that and even more so when Jake Mickelbrough fell without scoring. Klein fell with an early LBW which must have had Essex worried once again. They'd started their second innings 168 runs behind but Westy was soon into his stride in partnership with Nick Brown. These two saw out the rest of the morning session and then came back out to continue to build what was a much-needed stand for their side. Essex have hit the buffers of late, but there is simply too much talent in their team for them to remain in the doldrums for too long. Perhaps it was this stand which was to add 77 runs for the second wicket, which gave them the spark that they've been searching for. But two wickets inside, two Kleinfeld overs soon had them back in trouble. On 30, Brown nicked behind... And then Ravi Bapara, on the day a new-look England side put New Zealand to the sword in Birmingham, was bowled for just a single. Wesley was still there, however, and this shot brought him to his 50 off 61 balls, an innings with 8 four so far. This, though, was just a start for the 26-year-old, who was to have a day to remember, and one which might just reignite his team. As he came back for a third here, his side was still trailing by 79 runs, and there was a lot of work to be done to stay in touch and even prevent a three-day defeat. The pitch was certainly a nice one to bat on in a week where so many across the country have offered plenty of assistance to the bowlers. Indeed, thanks to Wesley, this was just one of two games of the seven that started on Sunday that will go into a fourth day. It wasn't always about Wesley, however. Ryder has made many decent contributions with bat and ball since joining Essex last year. And he played well within himself here as the game situation dictated. However, if the ball was there to hit, he certainly did that as he and Wesley soon had their team ahead. Wesley, who hit a 97 in his comeback game after suffering with a broken thumb, went one better now. His 18th boundary taking him to three figures for the ninth time in his first class career. He may argue that, given the circumstances, he's never batted as well as this. It was, without doubt, a very important innings for his county. He was not done yet, either. Whatever Northamptonshire tried, Wesley and Ryder were equal to it. Essex have waited a while for a stand like this one, and these two were now very determined not to give anything away against an attack which may have started to tire as over after over passed by without even a sniff of a chance. Ryder was the perfect foil for Wesley, the Kiwi reining in his natural aggression to get to his second 50 of the match off 115 deliveries, which must be amongst his slowest for his county. He thus far struck five fours. He did show what he was capable of by uppercutting a short and wide delivery from Crook for a six, the Northamptonshire attack just becoming a little frustrated. That was hardly surprising as the stand between these two was closing in on 200 Northamptonshire by this stage going through 46 overs without a wicket. Before the close, Wesley was raising his bat again after reaching 150 with a single off Rob Keogh, the batsman having now faced 187 deliveries, of which 25 had brought him boundaries. This was not a back-to-the-wall approach from the number three. Even Stone had reverted to bowling some spin before the close, Essex bringing up their 300 as these two batsmen headed off with a partnership of 216 runs under their belts. 
Wesley will resume on the final morning on 164, needing 22 more for his career best. He will also have eyes on a double ton, possibly, while Ryder requires just 10 more for his 100. Essex then will go again on 300 for three, now leading by 132 runs, and with time still to turn this game on its head completely.